Today we're going to talk about protecting your psychological capital. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. G'day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and today we're going to talk about protecting your psychological and emotional capital. Now, that is probably one of the most important topics that you can be going over as a trader and working on in terms of your mindset and protecting your psychological capital is probably one of the most powerful things you can do in terms of preserving yourself for your longevity and being successful and consistent as a trader. Blowing up accounts, uh, taking big losses and small profits, adding into losers, moving your stops, taking your stops out of the market, taking random impulsive emotional trades, these are all things that, especially when they go against you, will do damage to your psychological capital. And the psychological capital is the one thing that if you damage it or destroy it can be your undoing. And, and a lot of that will come from obviously doing financial capital damage to your account. Now, I talk about this and I, I always tell people, go to my homepage, get the seven step daily routine for high performance traders. If you don't already have a daily routine or some sort of daily habits or rituals to reinforce your mindset, your physical health, your emotional health, Go and get that. It's it's a framework for you to build a daily routine. So that if you're not currently happy with the results that you're getting, either in your life, your trading, whatever it is, use that as a framework to build your own daily habits that are going to be congruent with the results that you want to produce in your life. Now, psychological capital. Have you ever gone to bed sick, sick to your stomach, or been been unable to sleep for two or three days, or felt sick where you're completely detached from your family or your kids because you're in a losing position or you've already lost a massive part of your trading account and you know that you did the wrong thing you know that you you did the things that you said you would never do um, you you're you're you, you did all the things that you knew were wrong and you still continue to participate in in doing that so your psychological capital is the part of your brain that allows you to do the right thing and to stay focused and to maintain your confidence and your discipline and a winning mindset when the markets aren't going with you. But what's required of that is, is for you to be flawlessly executing your trading process. Now, markets can change, uh, results, the outcomes of trades can be random obviously, but if you've got a robust trading system or different trading systems, you know you've got positive trade expectancy drawdowns are going to be part of trading but if you've done the wrong thing in terms of your your position sizing or you've taken trades that weren't part of your strategies or you've over leveraged yourself and you've allowed that position to increase and go against you further or you've moved your stop or you haven't taken the first loss all these things that's what these little tiny things done daily when they're done wrongly if you get away with them you'll continue to participate in that behavior but if you do the right things day after day after day and you move from being you know a small consistent positive expectancy trader over time with patience and hard work and consistency those results are going to take care of themselves but if you repeat little behaviors that do damage to your trading account not only is it going to reinforce bad behavior, but it's going to psychologically impair you to have that confidence and winning mindset when the right trades do come along. So I'm going to, I'm going to invite you to be working on your mindset daily, and it's all about doing the right thing. You know, I, I listened to podcast with Jerry Parker from Chesapeake Capital. He's one of the former turtles, and he talks about Richard Dennis saying to him. In the early days of the turtle program is how you know how did you go this week Jerry and Jerry Parker said you know I, I you know I took a couple trades I, I missed a couple though I didn't want to take them and Richard Dennis said to him he's like okay well that's fine you know but just just take the trades Jerry just take the trades do the right thing and Jerry Parker says in the podcast he just says to himself do the right thing 
just hit the trades, hit the trades, do the right thing. Whatever your trading system requires in terms of its trigger and entry and exit, follow the rules, stick to your money management, stay in the game for the long term, stay focused on execution. Flawless execution, the trading process is what this is all about. So if you do the wrong thing, you've allowed emotion to creep into the picture. And when you do the wrong thing, that's where that can cripple you. That can completely damage you, not only financially, but psychologically. So preserve your, finan your financial capital, money management, money management, money management, but protect your psychological capital. It's like Jesse Livermore says, taking a loss never bothered him once he took it. But letting it grow or sitting on it, knowing that he should be out of the market or, or hadn't taken such a large loss, that bothered him and made him sick, emotionally crippling him, and obviously setting him back several on several occasions. So do the right thing. Follow the process, focus on flawless execution, stick to the money management, and the markets will go with you, traders. And when they move and you're in the right trades, the next part of that is knowing when to add positions in, how to make more from your winning trades, how to lose less on your losers, but focus on the process, protect the most important thing right between the ears, traders. Have a great day. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.